the gang's assembled and are in position to help you get up to that vault. For the rest of the operation, you are the ball. Roger, Bentley. I'm starting my approach. Getting over these fortress walls shouldn't be a problem. Look, we're running five by five here. Make sure everyone's in sync. I hear that. Artillery, sure you can make that shot? I endeavor not to miss. Excellent. Radio control. In position. Recovery team. On pump. Submersibles. Showtime, baby. Telekinetics. I gotta die. All right, it's the crime of the century and the ball's in motion. Hello everyone and welcome to Sly 3, Honor Among Thieves. Yeah, 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 I got the title right. Woo, I got it right. It took me a second, but I got it right. Anyway, here we go. Third game, boys, girls, everyone, everyone that's involved. Let's go. Uh, hi. <laughs> we are back. I mean, I get, okay, yes, you guys just saw me yesterday, maybe. Um, and I d just realized I should have done like a mic test or something because I forgot that these games always just throw you straight into the action You don't even get like a chance to figure out how to properly play them But yeah, so we're just getting back into it. Uh, I'm coming back from a long break I mean, long break, long quote unquote. It's been like a week, <laughs> but uh, we're we're gonna we'll figure out how to do things again. I think you, I think, I'm assuming the controls are the same as before. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot the audio is like extremely loud for the first first bit. Let me. That's why I'm like yelling. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna have to like turn myself down for that first little half. The ball has stopped rolling. We've got an obstruction. I'm on it. First is away. Second guy is pulled. Third sky work. Hold on, dog. Over. Who are all these people? Agent Old Rock, threat for timber. Hiya. How do you know what I'm Let her rip, Old Rock. Ball's in position. I'm Holly. I'm a battle. Nice work. The ball's got a track. Over. I was wondering if that guy was actually saying any words. I couldn't actually tell. It sounded like he was just going, wah, 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 wah. and then, uh, yeah, he definitely is just saying, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> uh, there's cobwebs here. I don't like it. Does that mean there's going to be spiders? I'm really, I have no idea what we're doing, where we're going. I'm assuming this is all tutorial level stuff. Ball requesting door via agent mono. Over. Missing stuff here? Am I not missing stuff? I have no idea. Ooh, coins. Okay. Ball is nearing the lab. Agent Deep Six, you ready? We are gun loaded. Who are you? Th who's talking? I'm so confused. But I, I will. I'm trying also not to cut them off. So, um, hi. <laughs> I have things to say, but I, I'll, I'll wait to say them until I know for sure we're clear. First is down. I'm reading both force fields down. Strong work, Team Six. Every time. Wait a minute. Is that? Is that the? Is that the first boss from the last game? Well, what's his name? How's your wife doing, Richards? Oh, very well, Doctor M. Thank you for asking. Very thoughtful. Mm -hmm. Man, your son. Uh, what's his name? Mike. Mark, sir. He, he's well too, yeah? Shame you won't be seen in the game. Ah, uh, sir? Afraid I poisoned your drink at lunch. Sorry, Richards, but I don't tolerate poor performance. You should have changed the security code from one to three after you installed the new system. I'll improve, I swear. No, you'll die. Any second now. Oh. 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 Yes, water leaking into the lab. I'm on my way down. Oh, and 
Get a janitor for the lab elevator. Richard's got sloppy. The Cooper vault is just across these wires. I'm en route to your position for the loot haul. Over. Where's Murray? Where's Murray? Wait, we, have, we, haven't, we haven't heard Murray yet, right? We're, we're hearing all these other people. Woo, whoa. I didn't even notice that this has like a new effect on it. That's pretty cool. Triangle does something fancy. Wait, does circle do anything? Wait, we're pressing all the buttons. We gotta see. Oh, they have the gadget grid. Okay, yep. It's still in it. they, they kept some things from the last game. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, this should be so much fun. I always love like new games. Like when they're, I know, okay, it's not a brand new game. This is a really old game from like 2005, but oh my goodness, it's so exciting. Oh, we saw these at the end of the last game. Okay, now now is where we'll probably get our death in the tutorial because they're shooting at us. Oh right, they told them that he cha didn't change the code. Keeper of the cane. Oh, how I long for this. This vault belongs to the Cooper family. You're trespassing. No, my naive boy, you're trespassing. I've got the deed to this island. This fortress is mine. Everything here is mine, which now includes the key to the vault and the cane. Sorry, pal. Family heirloom. Buy a knockoff at the gift shop. <laughs> Quick, let's regroup with the others. Follow me. Yep, definitely gonna die in the tutorial. That's gonna happen. Bentley, you're so uh, agile now. That's all you need was a wheelchair, man. Oh, geez, we're just going through all the lasers? Okay, it's fine. Uh, where am I going? Am I going back this way? Oh, our one to run. Right. You can run in these games. The tunnel's gonna go. Hurry. Go, go, go. I'm remembering things kind of from the last game. I'm sure they're gonna change up things. Holy cow, Bentley. You're so fast. And you can jump so high. We're almost home free. The boat's just up ahead. There's no escape, Koopa. Oh no, it's gonna eat Bentley. You were squished at the end of the last game. Oh my goodness. Is this the Is this the first boss? Yeah? Yeah, first boss already? It's not working! Save yourself! If he wants to eat, eat this! It was like they always say, your life really does flash before your eyes. There it all was, stretching back to my childhood. Born into a family of master thieves that went back for generations, I was next in line to continue the Cooper name. But fate had different plans. I was robbed of my childhood when a ruthless gang attacked our home. The orphanage I landed in wasn't all bad. It was there that I met my lifelong friends. Bentley, he's always been the thinker. And Murray, he's the doer. 
We'd stuck together over the years, and our skill, our confidence, and our thieving reputation grew stronger with each heist. We thought that the good times would never end, and that our luck would never run out. Which only made things tougher when the odds finally caught up with us. Then I met this guy, McSweeney, who claimed to have run with my father's crew back in their heyday. They pulled jobs all over the world and amassed quite a collection of priceless items. It was then that McSweeney told me all about the Cooper Vault. It seemed that my father, like all my ancestors, had been hiding their wealth in a secret place for generations, each one adding to the treasure hidden behind a door that if McSweeney's story is true, only a Cooper can open. Using some well-placed clues provided by McSweeney, we set out for the secret island that held the vault. On arriving, we discovered someone by the name of Dr. M had already set up shop. From the looks of it, he'd been trying to crack the thing for years, growing steadily more frustrated in his failures and more paranoid as the decades rolled by. He built himself a fortress with security as tight as Fort Knox. Getting inside the place would take precision, creativity, and moreover, it would take an army of world-class thieves. Finding and bringing together that much talent won't be easy, but to get inside the Cooper vault and collect my inheritance, I was willing to pay the price. All right, so two player? I don't know what that is. We, we can play with multiple people in this game? That's that's pretty fun. Uh, beginning of the end, I'm assuming that's what we just did, and it started us on the hazard room. So is that is that what we're doing? We're doing hazard room? If we're gonna make it to the Cooper vault, we'll need to perfect our thieving skills. I've rigged this place to push us to our limits. I'm guessing these levers start the different trainers. That's right. Each will initiate a streamlined crash course in grand larceny. I'll head for the control room, and we'll get things started. Dish it out. I'm ready. Oh, no. This is the tutorial. Oh, no. Okay. All great thieves have one thing in common. A ton of cash? No. They never get lost. Use the right analog stick to look around the hazard room. Try to find the Cooper gag marker I'm projecting. Look at that old controller that they, they're showing off. Wow. Great. Now press down on the L3 button to ping a waypoint. Ping. That's handy. I agree. These holographic markers are an invaluable tool for finding your way around in the field. Notice how the logo moves to the destination? Try clicking the L3 button a few more times to get the hang of it. Okay, head for the waypoint and we'll commence phase two. <laughs> okay. Um, I just want to see if there's any secrets, but it's, it's tutorial, so there probably isn't any. I programmed in a new mission destination. Press L3 to find it. The cool thing here. Perfect. Now everyone knows that a thief's best friend is a rooftop. Provided he doesn't break his neck getting up there. Not a problem for a man with your jumping skills. Hit the X button for a standard jump. Then hit the X button a second time while in the air for an extra high double jump. The extra high double jump. Yep. All right, Benley. What's next? As you know, it's very useful to survey guards from the rooftops. To do that, we'll have to be able to look down at them. Let me guess. Use the right analog stick? Yep. Try to find the marker I'm projecting down there. Excellent. Now look up at that pillar. I'm projecting another marker. Great. Now put all these skills to use and get to the remaining waypoints. Should be easy if you ping them with the L3 button and look around. Okay, so there's a little bit more verticality maybe from this? Oh, okay. Oh, we can't, we can't glide. <laughs> yeah, we just gotta run and jump up onto these. 
And I can run over here. Oh, this isn't too bad. I mean, we're, we're very beginning levels, but we're getting there. Good job, Sly. You made it. You're now ready to take on the meanest of navigation tasks. Ooh, new job complete screen. I like it. I like it. You picked up a lot of skills after reading the previous Raccoonin. Heck of a page turner, that book. Let's see if you remember them all. Check out those small points on that wire. You can land on them light as a feather using your ninja fire jump. Easy. I just jump and hit the circle button. Exactly. Try getting over to the other platform. Yeah, uh, one second. Holy moly, that's so loud. Holy cow, it's still so loud. I fixed it. Anyway, just deal with it. I'm sorry. I might have to lower it, like, post-editing. Oh, my goodness. Looking good, Sly. You know how I love the second story work. Sure, but how do you feel about tight spaces? Try getting through the small opening in that wall. Hit the circle button when you're close to crawl inside. Uh, yeah. The usual, the usual. What's extra sneaky? Anything new? Is the arms any different? Oh, they're a little bit more 3D textured. Nice job, Sly. You're a credit to the Cooper name. Okay, now they sound like they're too quiet. Are the, is the voices part of the effects? Is that is that how this works? I don't, I don't know why this is so weird. All right, we're back. That was, oh my goodness. The struggles of starting a new game and having to mess with settings. Ooh, we just gotta, gotta keep picking a level each time? Okay, this is a pretty interesting way of doing things. An opera of fear. Oh wait, no, this is an actual episode. That was just like the tutorial tutorial. Okay, okay. Getting inside a world-class vault would take a team of world-class thieves. A group of specialists, each member contributing their own particular talent. It was clear that we needed Murray back. Not only was I missing a lifelong friend, but his brute strength helped get us out of more than a few scrapes in the past. When Bentley was injured during the whole clockwork affair, Murray blamed himself, eventually leaving the team. We tried to console him, but going out on his own was something he needed to do. He said he wanted to find his spiritual center. We got word that Murray ended up in the Australian outback, where he studied a mystic art called the dream time from an aboriginal guru. From all accounts, things went pretty well and his teacher even sent him on a walkabout to locations all over the globe to complete the training. Latest reports have cited Murray in beautiful Venice, Italy, but what he's doing there is a mystery. I just hope he steers clear of the local mob boss, Octavio. Growing up, this guy used to be a real celebrity in the neighborhood. Everyone loved to hear him sing opera and said he was destined to be the next great tenor. But just as his career started to take off, musical taste changed. Suddenly, it was all about rock music, and no one wanted to listen to opera anymore. He held on to a few fans, and it was these mobsters that took him into the business. Heading onto this guy's turf was dangerous but worth it for a chance to make things right with Murray. Oh, 
Venice, Italy. Oh my goodness, the contrast. It's so much brighter. I really like that fly through of the entire level. That was really cool. Uh, let's just quickly check our gadgets. Thief net is still a thing. The alarm clock Bentley now has. Okay, and smoke bomb. Uh, obscure vision. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We had these, I think, in the last game at some point. Uh, we have to remember, though, in this game, pickpocket whenever we have the chance, because I'm sure that's going to be a thing. Given Murray's criminal past, it seems logical to start our search at the local police station. If he's not already in custody, the cops are sure to have leads on all the crooks in Venice. Okay. That massive dome marks the Venetian police station. Cops around here really like to make an impression. I'm afraid it's a losing battle. Don Octavio runs the show in this neighborhood. It's his security forces patrolling the streets, not the cops. Noted. Huh. Looks like I found my way inside. Well, that dome is covered in glazed tile. There's no way to climb up there. Oh, come on, pal. There's always a way. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh my goodness. <laughs> Already just falling. Ooh, okay. Already falling into the water. That's amazing. Uh, I said, like, mm, I don't know, 15 minutes ago, probably, maybe at the very beginning of this episode, I was like, yo, I got something to say, but uh, we haven't had a good time to say it because they just keep talking. I don't want to cut off anyone. So I guess this game starts at the end of the game. Nice climbing, partner. I've got the blueprints to the vent system in front of me. I should be able to guide you to the jail cell. Hey, Murray? Is that you? Murray, that name's a stain on my pants, bro. What? Cooper, you got some fuzzy dice to come round here. Dimitri, long time no punch. See you're still in jail. And you still a cracker box. Let's get past the name calling and get to business. Looking for main man Murray, eh? Sorry, but I'd rather see you get busted big time! God! Polizia! Wait! Gotta think of something to keep him quiet. Oh my goodness, we're gonna have to make selections in this game! Oh no, I'm <laughs> next to all those button pressing things. I'm so bad at these, making the right decision. Okay. Uh, I could try threatening him, flattery. Uh. Let's try cutting him a deal. I'm sure he's going to want that. If those cops get their mitts on me, who's going to break you out of jail? You might get this cell door open, but the cops would throw down and bust me on the way out. And then I'll get the double sentence. <laughs> Leave! He's right. It'll be tough getting him out of here. I need a plan. Okay, okay. Maybe I could disguise us both as police and walk out, distract the cops so he can get away. Take him with me up the air vent. I'm sure he can do that, right? Yeah, that sounds fun. Look, I got in here through an air vent. We can both use it to escape. I can't fit in no vent. You spy my macho frame. I'm packing too much sexy muscle to fit in vent like you stick dudes. Okay, good. There's like no like really wrong answer. That's so nice. Okay, we're disguising as police then. Tell you what, I'll steal a couple of police uniforms. We'll suit up and then just walk out the front door. Come on, man. I'm a fashion all-star. No way, no how I'm dressing up in polyester pig suit. Some things worse than jail. <laughs> I picked all the wrong options. <laughs> This game's gonna be so much fun. Okay, anyway, maybe I could distract the cops so we can get away. How about I get the cops' attention, then run for it? Once they're all outside shooting at me, you can slip out no problem. No, that's a plan I can get behind. Dimitri is free, and Cooper is cooked. Key for sale is in handcuff lady's office. Okay, great. This other lock won't be a problem. I should be able to crack it by hand. Get me out of here, and I'll find Murray. No sweat. Just keep on the down low and out of sight near them coppers, bro. They're a bad bunch of bunnies. Your attention, police. I thank you for your patience, but we're now ready for the presentation. Oh, it's Carmelita over there, isn't it? This is her new voice actor, isn't it? Yeah, 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 isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, let me say all the things I've wanted to say. I'm just going to stop moving. Uh, we were going to... 
the game starts at the end of the game, and then they do, I guess, the flashback sort of thing, so the entire game's, like, kind of building up to the very end, and I get to do that whole thing again. I really like those in games, that they did that in Pitfall. Uh, and then Dimitri is the guy that we saw at the end, too, so he's going to join the clan crew, I guess? That's going to be cool. Uh, and, uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 I'm bad at saying things. Anyway, we're going to leave this episode here. This is a weird, weird one. I know we're leaving at a weird spot. I'm just going to pause it so she's not talking because I don't want to interrupt her too much. And um, anyway, yeah, uh, that's going to do it for today's episode. So I want to thank everyone for watching this episode of Sly 3, Honor Among Thieves. They put it right there on the screen so I can easily read it and such. And uh, it should be a good time. <laughs> Hopefully, I don't know. Uh, anything that I was planning on saying in this episode, I guess we're going to have to say it in later episodes, either the next one or the one after that, but probably the next one. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Goodbye for now, my friends. <laughs>